Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more Dota Underlords, uh, a game that I keep playing from time to time. I actually think that it is still pretty relaxing and for today we actually have to try to get some critical strikes going, which is not that easy. Uh, so we'll see if we get an assassin option, that would of course be very nice. While we apparently have to wait for players to reconnect again, let's see what happens. And this is something that still bugs out. If not everyone is in the game, you basically have to click on reroll. And I don't see that many assassins. I do get the dragons, which is potentially a decent base for that because we do get uh, the viper, which is actually a very powerful dragon for brutes. So we could try assassins, brutes, maybe an extra brawny. I'll take a talisman of evasion and I'll give that to the lifestealer. And then, I mean, this is a pretty good front line to hold on for at least a little bit. So we get an extra assassin potentially who becomes a tier 2. This is a difficult choice. I'm actually going to make it. We are going to put in uh, the tier 2 Queen of Pain just for its potential uh, compared to the Snapfire, which is a second dragon that does mean that um, Viper will be a little bit weaker. But I, I think just getting that extra damage on all of these auto attacks is pretty important. So here we go. Uh, let's see. Laura Sponge, but we're still alright. That's healing. Very annoying, but we do have... There we go, the damage advantage, a little bit of AoE. And she's down already. Oh no, she's all the way in the back, right there. Queen of Pain doing what she needs to do. Max damage, life stealer surviving as well, thanks to the evade. This is a good first round. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. Um, healing tank, healing and stealing, higher damage. Um, I think we can try an NO on this one. And we'll, we'll leave him here. We'll put her back a little bit. And then for now we've got this one going in. And next. So let's see. A third assassin would be nice. Not seeing any of that. A bristle back for the... Nope. We actually want a fourth brute on that one. And we do potentially see a life stealer come into play. So that's okay. Um, double enigma. Doesn't fit too well, I think, at this point. So let's see what we're up against here. Uh, seeing some knights, seeing some rangers. That'll do double attacks. Luckily, my life stealer evades. My tree and protector self heals. And my uh, ogre magi is tier 2 at the moment, which gives the rest of them plenty of time. And there we go. Thanks to Enos healing. That was not so bad and he actually stole something as well with a decent amount of extra damage. So that worked out. We'll be up against Fear next who still has all his life as well. Um, item wise... Alright, actually a Dragon Lance for my Queen of Pain I think is alright. She can just stay in the back and uh, pepper the enemy with her knives. So that was good. This is very welcome as well. Um, brutes or assassins. This is worth locking in. Getting that. And then we need to hope for, uh, of course, either a brute. Um, four star demon is possible. Or, of course, an assassin. We should see plenty of options for that. Let's see if we can do this. And what does he have? So... That looks like oof, trolls is a bit of a problem potentially. So here again, they need to hold on. My tree and protector goes down very quickly, unfortunately. Then he's got the summons behind me. Now my ogre magi goes down. My backline is already down as well. While the Inno does his best, uh, yeah, it just look. Uh, it it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Get get a nice big brute in front of this as well. Um, and I think we can be okay. And then assassins for more damage. Uh, maybe the four star ranged assassin would be good as well. Let's see what we got here. Well, we have at least the Ember Spirit. So I'm gonna buy him and put him in at this point. 
Tide Hunter and oof, ooh. Okay, I'll lock that in for sure. That means that we might as well give this to the Viper. And he'll become a tier 3 next turn. Okay, let's see if we can survive this round. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of HP. And my tree and protector again. He needs to become a tier 2 uh, very quickly. At least now in the back. Uh, my assassins are doing a little bit better. My Eno is going nuts for some reason. He's got a chrysalis. Okay. That's... Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. That's a good victory. Now get me that uh, that Viper, that's gonna be huge potentially. And the Snapfire actually doing a lot of damage as well. Hand of Midas or a Silver Edge, I think the 300 health attack speed is worth it. So we'll do this and for now, I'll give that to the Ogre Magi and maybe we'll try this. Put the Treant at the center, that is big. And that is very nice as well. Um, after that, more assassins. A brute is an option as well. We could try full assassins, although I don't have uh, the right item, life stealing item for um, potentially that fast hitter. I'm not sure what his name is anymore. Fear also lost some HP and we're up against him again. So unfortunately, I think now we'll be in trouble again because yeah he, he, his knights heal um my ogre magi is already down well, at least my tier trees are holding on so the viper is doing well so is the life stealer surprisingly enough taking care of the enemy boss all on his own eno keeps uh, keeps poisoning them and there we go fear has been dethroned as well i am now most hp so that's not so bad uh, we do need to make the right choices and I'm 7 out of 8. So what do we get? None of these look interesting. We still have plenty of HP. I'm going to invest in this one for now. Uh, although, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll buy the Slark. Although Slark does need that um, life-stealing item. If, if you're going to have him late game, basically you want him to get the HP from the stars. And then you want to give him life stealing so that he can take some of those hits. Uh, but for now, everyone is pretty front loaded, has, has a good front line. Uh, but I think here in the back, you'll very quickly see he's got that summon that hits him. And no, did just heal him. But that summon all on his own almost wrecks him. And then just one more hit and we'll be in real trouble. But the Viper and the Life Stealer doing really good work. And. Uh, that worked okay we got it life stealing helmet life stealing helmet give me that one uh no unfortunate uh we could try the cadence blades once he gets going then this could be very good for him it is a big risk to give that uh, to him already but we could try it. that's nice okay uh, is that oh no now it's not better than slark for sure so this is all keepers and then um, that's the one that I'm also looking at is a doom. So we are going to buy him for our fourth brute. This could be interesting. Um, I'm curious to see if the Slark can basically wreck the back line enough. What are we up here? So we get the Knights. At the front, ugh, that backline does look dangerous. Lots of tier trees, and this is the bad news, right? That sometimes happens. Um, this is very bad for me. That terror blade just turned around, went right after the slark, and uh, now he's got free reign using. I think it's gonna be full, or is it just tree? And he does have that mask of madness. Yeah, this is a problem. Something that I need to counter somehow maybe we'll have him change sides here or put him i'm actually gonna put him at the front and hope that something comes right up against him so that we have a better chance uh we'll put you in here as well something like that queen of pain is good that's good none of these 
So now positioning, which I know too little about. Tier 3, take your place. Maybe I'll even put him right at the front as well. Put her back here to try and support that stuff. Um, I'll risk it. I mean, I could have invested, right, divested from the Ember Spirit and then put that one at a tier 2. This feels a lot better at the back. Tier 3 Spider is going down. That's a very good ability from Nyx Assassin that delayed things nicely. Slark is still going, but is slowly getting wrecked. At least some of the heals from Inoue are still coming in. What the hell is that? Never seen that pop off before, but all right. And so now I'm up against, uh, I'm gonna guess a Russian, yeah, and, and it's, Jesus Christ, that's a very strong backline that is potentially a bit of a problem. So I will buy my Shiva's Guard and Fear is actually still in it as well. I'll give that to you. Just try and have him push forward and uh, yeah, he does have the right placement, I think, to deal with me, unfortunately. Right, 9 out of 9. Oh, I can't go to full assassins. Hmm. What would be then potentially... Uh, we're definitely gonna grab that Templar assassin, I think, over this one. Over the Ember Spirit for now. None of these are good. None of these are good. Okay. This is really important. Is my Slark... Ah, I should have put my Slark on the other side, I think, to avoid that Terror Blade. Because that Terror Blade coming right after my Assassin. And there he goes again, right after my Assassin. I mean, at least he's been slowed down by the Shivas. But then he gets to use his ability in just a moment. He's still silenced. There he goes. And then he's just gonna wreck my stuff while the rest of them are still suffering. He, he has too many Tier 3s for me, unfortunately. Can Fear... Win Ooh, Fear did just win out from Banda, somehow. Uh, so I'm actually going to put you here, just in case of Slark having to go after that one again. And then, no, I'm even going to buy the Void. Faceless Void here. Uh, should have um, grabbed that tree. Well, we get them now, so that's fine. And okay, so let's see if we can survive this round. At least we got a couple more here to keep the front line all right. And if we're up against fear, I think we've got a chance. Now we're up against him again. So now basically I need to hope that my placement here. So that's the Shivas, that's the Knight Down. And now my um, Slark has better free reign. The Void delayed things a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Come on, Slark. Stay up. Keep doing those 7% hits. That's a victory. That's an earned victory where we... He didn't move his... Um, um, yeah. Uh, his, his super powerful demon there. Didn't get that good transform. Didn't take out my Slark. So that's nice. And next, I'm actually going to put him back, I think, with him. Uh, and give him a satanic. We could really give him a satanic, I think. And then we'll give this to you. Or even to the tree ant. No, we'll give that to you. That's okay. And next I need... Let's see here. So, one more slark would be amazing, of course. Come on. Last chance. Still nothing. Can I dig for anything? Yeah, Queen of Pain or something like that would still make sense. You have to spend all the gold you can at this point. Could even be worth it to just get one more Snapfire. But we got nothing. Double Templar Assassin. Okay, let's see if we can uh, still handle Fear, who's probably full of tier... Well, no, that's actually not that many tier trees. That's a big disruption, of course. My... Void guy at the back. Ooh, and he gets a heal off. But the delay is not long enough. Slark. Does have the satanic. Takes care of the first one. Should have some attack speed. Why was he stunned? And doesn't have... Alright, well, second place. Not that bad for this game. 
I think I'll definitely uh, take it. With assassins, it's it's never easy. I should probably have gone full assassins, but we made some progress here and we managed to land some critical strikes. Let's see. And that chrysalis could, of course, help as well uh, with those numbers. Let's see if we can get another good game in here. Assassins again. You can see the problem with assassins, you do need that strong front line. This is nothing. Uh, so we can, well, knights, knights at the front line, then we have our first assassin here. Um, we'll move you here for that support. And then we could go with four knights. Drop the snap. And then try six assassins this time. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Uh, Talisman of evasion sounds good to me. And... They're equal in HP. I guess I'll give it to the Chaos Knight for now. What would be my fourth knight? Um, probably the Omni would be nice, I think. We'll log this in. Uh, we could start with a Quick Witch Doctor. If we have to. So... We'll see if we can survive this first round. Uh, Snap is gonna actually move back more to try and stay safe and hopefully get the dragon abilities going. Uh, dragon Knight later game could be nice too. Actually would solve getting rid of the snap fire. And then she actually moves right in front of the budge, which is not so good. That's a stun. Ooh, his ability and that tier 2, that's gonna be annoying for my back line. Like that. At least Snapfire got a fireball off. Another good stun. Yeah, but those are still here, just wrecking everything. All right. Not too much that we can do about that. I think getting that, that extra knight is important at this point. Um, Eno again. I mean, he did really well. None of the others are actually healing focused at the moment so we'll take it and then we get that i'll buy this one just in case of us we do get a luna now that's a i'll i'll do it uh we'll do this we'll do that snapfire at a two put you here for now i'm the the problem is, of course, my, my front line is very small. It's only two of them. So maybe the tank would have made more sense. But like this, it should also be a decent amount of damage. And they should hold on quite well. Because uh, they should have that full knight bonus. 19% less physical damage taken. It, look, look at how well Chaos Knight's holding on. He goes down, but the rest of them have taken care of that back line. All right. I'll take this. That's pretty decent. Or I could also stick to three assassins. Get just a couple of crits in. And then try to... Uh, so that's not very good. Th this is nice though. More HP at the front. And then, so if we would go three assassins... And then knights up to six, maybe. Although the snap fire is quickly becoming more powerful. That's good. And we're just not not seeing any assassins at this point. So it may become a three triple assassin. Maybe an extra troll. Uh, so it's two more assassins puts us at eight. One Two knights or a troll, then. Hmm. All right, let's see if my front line can hold up this time. He has a tier three juggernaut already. Get the poison going. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on both my knights. They're not holding on. At least the enemy boss is down. He's taking some damage, but yeah, his AOE is just too strong. Early tier trees, super powerful. And he's going knights and ranged. I mean, that can be countered with correct assassins. But I will need them uh, quickly then. 
So we... Uh, Nyx, that's kind of okay. Ooh, Templar Assassin. All right, I kind of like the idea. Uh, I'll sell you. We'll put you back here. Okay, and that's... Double Doom. Hmm. It's just not what I need. And in fact, like for now, we're going to gamble on just finding more stuff. Um, so, Chaos Knight down very quickly. Quite a few of them taken out as well. Shield is up. And he is down and out. Okay. Next, probably Max. And upgrading her would be huge. Especially if she could start to crit. Or give me a life-stealing item. A Mask of Madness. I'll take it. Uh, we'll give that to her, in fact, as well for now. But of course, Slark would be the ticket here. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get a Chaos Knight. That's a no. Can we get what I need? I think there's just too many of them. Well, we can get the Chaos Knight. Okay, I'll definitely take that then. And then we can get the Snapfire. We can work on that one. Uh, Queen of Pain as an option. Queen of Pain is an option. Who else is running? Because if, she, if the Luna could... Um, Upgrade, she'd do a lot of damage here. All right, can we hold this front line? Yeah, yeah, that won't be a problem. My tier three should be... Chaos Knight should be able to do that. There's some fire damage from the snap. Should be a lot of glaives. Ooh, that's danger. That's, that's bad, though. <laughs> oh, God. Can Eno poison enough? And then here, my mobile assassins... Very close, but making the difference. And, you know, have a life-stealing Slark in there. That would have never happened. So this is okay. This still feels all right. For now, I'll take that Queen of Pain just to make sure that we have something. But I would, of course, love to see Slark move in. And here is the Dragon Knight. Do I lock him in? I think I do... No, I... Nah, actually... She's... Snapfire is doing alright at this point. So, we're not just gonna throw her away. Still at two stars. Oof. We need to take care of that Terror Blade quickly. So I need lots of poisons. Ah, his retreat is just too good here. Snap is doing some fire damage. And now my assassins will not, I don't think, be powerful enough. Yeah, that's that's a tier 3 terror blade with another ranger here and probably a third one that's already down. So hopefully we don't have to... Oh, Max gets knocked out by someone else. That is very good news for me. Why the hell can't I get upgrades for Luna? That is really costing me a lot at this point. Uh, Moonshard is really nice too. Um, we'll give that to you for now. Just get more damage in. His HP should be going up. That should be fine. That should be okay. So obviously we got some Terror Blades in the pool now. I'll take you. Okay, here's the Slark. Better than her, I definitely think so. We do need to make sure that we put him on the right side of things. And that is pretty big. Um, da, 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 da. Only at one. I'm, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna, I mean, this is big in upgrades, but I don't want to give up that, that potential Queen of Pain as my next hero either. So let's see if we can do this. Slark. Ouch. Ouch. Poor Slark. Yeah. Right off the bat being targeted. So my Chaos Knight is gonna have to make it up now. And the snap with speed, 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 speed. Ooh, it's not enough. It's pretty close, but Viper is down. And then the snap fire stunned for some reason again as well. No idea what. Maybe the hook. And that puts us down 
to the fourth place and unfortunately that's not going to be too good in progress well at least we got this challenge done but we still have quite a little bit of um critical strike so two tier trees we can we can knock that out in one match i'll do that um yeah go full assassins it would be nice but they do tend to be pretty weak then i need the right hero which would be who hmm so we don't have anything well queen of pain is an assassin uh, i'll do a quick reroll on this that's nothing <coughs> not good so i guess we could try this very specifically uh, just to do something else that's nothing that can crit i think it does make sense to give the luna that damage because of our bouncing glaives and a punch instead of you yes okay that's interesting to say the least to start with three that's very nice that's really nice too can I transition this to hunters and then get a nice warrior front line? That could work. We definitely need a healing hero after that. So those bouncing glaives. Why are they not, not seeing the bounces too well? She's already down. Thought she'd do better. At least that one's down. Viper's down. Can we... Yes, okay. Not sure why we didn't see any bounces. That shouldn't stop it. Glaives deal 30% less damage, but that's okay. Healing tank or healing and stealing. Uh, full Eno or... No, here, I think. A healing tank. And then we'll try to build a big warrior front line. Like that. Uh, okay. Maybe even with the Abaddon. Put that Abaddon in front of her. It's a knight. And it's heartless. Yep, that's that's a big lock-in as well. In fact, that would be better than my Tusk. And then uh, two more Hunters behind that. Which we can do late game. We could go Terrorblade. But we could also go... Um, hmm. That five gold for sure. That summoner is gone. Am I seeing her glaives bounce? Yeah, yeah, now we do see some bounces there. Unfortunately, it's already down. So we didn't survive that, but it's kind of... I feel like we can make a comeback for this. Especially if this would come again. That would become more and more annoying. Orb of Venom, Distillator, or Talisman of Vision. I am going to do this. I think it works that all her bounces also reduce their armor. And I guess for now, we'll give her extra damage. Come on. Uh, I'll take that. We'll put you in here. Instead of this one. Uh, that, is, that is big. That could just be what I need in order to break this because that'll be 220 damage bouncing attacks that do reduce but this is this is potentially let's see how we do does the, he have a tier 3 yeah back here that's that one oh, we fought against him before but now Luna's damage has definitely gone up Come on, Glaives, hit that. Yeah, that one. Good. I think this is in the bag. Yeah, he can poison, but he can't take care of all of us. So now get me a Wind Ranger. And then Warriors. Couple more Warriors. Big Warriors. Upgrades for those guys. Um, could do the Terror Blades. I'll risk it. Overall, it's always a really good unit. Uh, 
Beastmaster would actually fit decently well, but for now, I think we usually see the Beastmaster come back later down the line as well. So I am going to try this first. I don't think there will be... Ch Oof, that, ugh, that one is annoying because he will get a summon on him right away. And so that'll be some like that wasted shots. He does heal back. But he goes for him first. Survive, survive, survive. And look at how little damage these summons take. At least the little bounces there are good. That one is down. A little bit more. There we go. And yeah. Tier 3 Luna. Early game. <laughs> look at that damage. 13k. All these summons just countered by one unit, basically. Uh, Silver Edge is very good. Blade Mail or Hand of Mindness. We're gonna go for stats and stuff like that. I guess we could give that straight to the Terror Blade. He will become really important later down the line. And um, if he becomes a Tier 2, that is more than welcome. I'll buy the Weaver because it's only one gold. And potentially he can be a nice upgrade. We'll do that or do I... I'll straight up buy that. Um, hmm. I'll buy that Beast Master. He's an option as well. Even if. I mean, I, I would replace him by the 5 star. One, that's two tier trees. That's some sort of stun. And now we need to take down that spirit. Nope, damn it, he got it off. Uh, Terrorblade. Stunned again? Why? Don't get it. And so we lost to see why. I don't get those stuns sometimes though. Out of nothing, terribly not doing anything anymore. I'm kind of edging towards moving him on the other side. We keep getting into trouble there. So we're going to put in the punch that's a bit more sturdy. And uh, we will then have him supported like that. Obviously we buy this. Uh, Tight Hunter in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot better than this. That's a big upgrade too, in fact. Okay. Tusk tier 2. Tusk. I guess I'll buy him for now. Can I get to 6 warriors? I don't think so. No. I even would have to put both of these guys in. Now, Luna needs to... Ah, oh, damn. Immediately disrupted. Leaves the glaives are bouncing. Terrorblade tries, but is getting wrecked by the enemy backline. Luna is doing really well again. More, 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 Luna. Come on. Few more bounces. Yep, yep, yep. And this is really strong. I really think that the Desolator... Uh, they lose 5 armor on every single bounce. That does make it very strong so uh, mechanism none of these are that great maybe even taking someone out for 10 seconds plus 10 mana a second as well we could try this and i guess for like an extra hook or something mm, da -da -da. okay that's good that's good some of these will definitely not be needed anymore uh that's great so i'm actually gonna go for that tier three we'll put you to the side so we get some big tanks here that'll survive that should delay things a little bit as well by turning one of their frontline units into a big and it's cy again let's see if this makes a difference so that's at least that tree and protector that was gone for a bit. My terror blades can do a bit more. Luna is still really <laughs> king of the damage here. And then he still has some tier trees left. A very big punch. From me, that makes it very close, but we just made it. Um need that, need that. Still haven't seen that Wind Ranger. That would be nice for another upgrade. And then... Hmm. I could try to close the gap. 
I guess. Uh, Dragon Knight. I mean, it is five stars. It's big. Hopefully, can. That's nice. I'll take it. I'll do another dig here. Nope. I think that then that this is worth it, and that anything will do, even just a goddamn tier one arc warden. <laughs> It's not... Oh, actually, no. Then I guess two zoomy guys would make more sense. I'll keep you just in case. Um, it would help in the back line as well. Now I'm really hoping that the Terror Blades can make a difference. So he's hitting really well. Despite that support in the back. Big AoE. He's turned into a chicken, but he's got the HP. And yeah, Butch becoming this big also helps a lot. And uh, he's got some summons in there, which the Luna counters perfectly. And actually, Beastmaster is at top damage here. But okay. Terrorblade and then Luna. Ooh, a Vlad. A Vlad. A Vlad. We'll take it. We'll give that to you. Um, right in the middle or... Not sure yet. And then another tier 3, so you're getting more damage. Um... The, the, the Slardar's Warrior. Nah, it, it's too small. Two golds. Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight is good. We could put him right here in the midline. He becomes like this. I'm gonna guess that that's better than this. So we'll go like that. Um, draw for more attack speed. That's another no. I'm not even... Uh, no, then I'm thinking an extra knight, maybe the Omni for my tent. And then that one comes into play, can't buy him just yet. Can I survive this round against CY? Yeah, 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 my HP is doing a lot better. And uh, they're, they're having some real trouble <laughs> defeating my front line now. So this is really good. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a fourth knight at this point, so you can go. Mm. And one, two, three. Like, well, could could try to take the Dragon Knight again. Big fives. Uh, Axe is also five stars, so we'll buy him for now. Omni Knight, I think, makes even more sense than that. Let's take a quick look at what else I get potentially. That's a lot of nothing. A tier two Axe here. No. It's, it's gonna be Omni Knight. In fact, I'm even gonna put him here like this. Support my left flank a little bit more. That's another Chaos Knight. Can potentially become an upgrade. Let's see here. What are we up against? Was that a Druid that I saw? So that's definitely some Druids and Summons. Hopefully that's a big disruption. But mine should come as well. Um, and hopefully my Luna can basically... Make it happen. Should have life stealing on the left. That's okay. And yeah, the Luna taking care of all of the summons here. Very good. Too bad that we're not critting. But this is very, very convincing. And the Beast Master again coming out on top with 13k damage. I'll take it. Uh, Radiance or Moon Shards or Blood Thorn. We'll we'll do some more AOE stuff here. We'll give that to you. Support my right flank a little bit more. And yeah, now uh, one of these. I don't think we'll get it, unfortunately. Uh, we do get you. So you're taking his place. Although he does have a heal. That becomes a tier 3 that's big. And uh, some of these would be really awesome. But for now, that's a no. That's a dragon, that's that, that's that. Okay, well, we'll take it. We'll see if my Dragon Knight in the back here can support us enough. And uh, the Vlad should keep things in order. He chose that thing. I thought he had a tier 3. So, that's an empty disruption. Come on, Luna. Bouncing Glaives, please. The and then this, this guy, the Terran Blade, able to just go nuts from the back now. That's gonna be very bad for them, despite 
getting that guy back and we end up with a super nice victory so let's leave this match and what did i have to work on oh yeah uh, i actually got the crits somehow don't ask me how but i'll take him and then um why i, I did more than two th tier three units oh 30 of them for 300 XP. Oh, well, we got 18 of them done in a single game. That was not bad at all. So there you go, guys. Actually a victory at the tail end here. And that was some more Dota Underlord. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.